Till then, I would tell so that I can cover in one class only. The rest of the things that I can read from books. But the basic things I will tell you. MS में कुछ पढ़ा है ना कोई कोई पढ़ा तो होगा जरूर नहीं तो आपको टॉप फेल हो पढ़ नहीं सकते स्ट्रेस ट्रेन का तो पहले चैप्टर ही जी मोहर सोचो पर आई मेक इट इन अ डिफरेंट वे सो दैट वी कैन कवर इन शॉर्ट टाइम अच्छा सपोज Sigma 1 is a applied stress. You understand this part, na? 
with this place we are breaking. They are opposing. They are opposing. Because confining space always opposes for failure. That is what we saw now in case of crust. As you go down, the confining stress increases, so rock does not break easily. So these are the confining stresses and this is the applied stress. Understand me? Now, suppose 25 you are applying and these are generating 20 and 10. After mind me aata hoga it won't be 10. Kaisa ha? Suppose cross ki baat sucha you are breaking. The rock is surrounded by other rock materials. They are bringing this 20 and 10, maybe 10, 10, maybe 20, 20. So, we just for our understanding now, I have made a variation. 20, 10. Now, suppose pair of both sides. If you have a sample, you have a pair of both sides. And from this side, you are hammer. This is your 25. The pair of both sides is 20. The pair of both sides is 20. The pair of both sides is 10. Understood this part. Now, why this variation is coming? If suppose from all sides you are putting your leg, I say, I say, cut. Then everything is 20. So these two are confining spaces. Or every side, all the sides you have kept it open, so it is 10, 10. So these are only confining spaces. This is the applied stress. That is why it is sigma. Other two are sigma 2, sigma. Sigma 2 could be same as sigma 3, or they are different. No problem, na. So after 25 you are applying, the rock may not break. It requires some strength, na? it requires the strength to be overcome. Then only rock will break. So may not be 25, maybe 30, maybe 40. These two may remain same. But you go on increasing, increasing, 25 to 30, 30 to 35. Some point rock will break. Na? So suppose 25 to 30, 30 to 35. So 35 rock is breaking. Understood? This is just an experiment we are conducting inside the lab. So 35 is the failure point. Follow this point. 25 may it was not breaking. 35 rock is breaking. I suppose I ask you what is the strength of the rock? What will be your answer? 35 minus 25. Or you can say radius of that circle is the strength. 35 minus 10 is 25, 25 by 2, 12.5 is the strength of the rock. Maximum minus minimum at the failure point. You know, understand this part. This is what already we have discussed. Right? See, that gentleman who has applied for the crustal strength, right? he has borrowed the idea from this. He has borrowed the idea from this. The gentleman who applied this to crustal strength is this gentleman. Why did he? By the and these people are Mohan, Kulam, some people are here. These are the people who applied for the experimental work. Same figure you will obtain. Pirely applied these things to crustal strength. How crustal strength varies with the depth. Now, if I ask you, you represent this in a Mohan. That is the thing, na? that is what we are going to do. Now, before that, you should know something. No? Suppose I ask you, you know, there is a plane here. To understand this plane, there is a plane. You said the hypothetical plane. So, this plane will intersect. All the three axes, na? remember, like this, you know. Sigma 1, Sigma 2, Sigma 3. Is it, is it plane also? You see? You know, axis, a plane of constructor, rock ka under. This plane is intersecting all the three axes. Na? I can make a plane like this. Just this, this plane. What is this plane then? This is only intersecting sigma 1 and sigma 3 for not to sigma 2. What does it mean? Parallel to sigma 2. 
इसको तो ट्रेड कर देंगे तो इट विल कॉट सिग्मा टू सिमिलरली प्लेन कैन कॉट सिग्मा वन एंड सिग्मा टू बट रिमेन पैरेलल टू सिग्मा थ्री ऑल दोस एलिमेंट्स कैन बी डन सो लाइक दिस इन्यूमरल प्लेन्स कैन बी थॉट ऑफ यू नो इनसाइड दिस बॉडी व्हिच विल आइदर इंटरसेक्ट ऑल थ्री और इंटरसेक्ट ओनली टू और इंटरसेक्ट ओनली वन हो सकता है कि नहीं हो सकता This plane suppose it is standing like this. It will inter it will intersect on only one axis. Other two axis will remain parallel. So many orientations can be visualized, na? No? Understood, na? No? You better follow this point or not tell me. So now thousands of plane can be constructed, you know, like this, you know, suppose another situation. This is how you have plane. It is only it is perpendicular to that plane, parallel to this two. so many orientations are possible <coughs> understand na now so this rock will break na? it will break in one of those planes na if there are thousands of such planes are there when this rock will break it will break along one such plane na? if there are no, uh, millions of planes are there in one plane it will break na why you know suppose you have and your hammer all this is create a texture on to break it cannot break aise aise ka har jagah hum break nahi karenge it will break along one plane once preference one set of plane. out of so much multitude of planes one plane is built or you can say complementary plane like right? suppose this plane this plane is also same as this remember Making same angle of the sigma one, this side or this side, correct. So you consider it is only one set of plane. It will break. Up to this is clear, na? It will break only one set of plane. So which is that plane? What is that? Which is that plane along which the rock will break? Out of so much, so many planes, you know, one plane will prefer, not the other planes. समझे कि नहीं समझे? Which is that plane? Now that is the plane along which maximum shear stress will take place. Right on. आप तो ये ऐसे एक plane है, ऐसे एक plane है, ऐसे एक plane है, या ऐसे एक plane है. Plane where maximum shear stress will take place ना? Rock will break है ना? Look, follow this point, हाँ? Huh? So When you have a plane inside this body, you know it is affected by a normal stress member, normal stress and a shear. This plane may be there, this plane may be there, this plane may be there. Every plane may have normal stress or a shear stress. Normal stress is what one which is working normal to you. Shear stress is what one which is working along the plane. This has two types of stress. One normal stress is what. This is suppose this is the plane. This plane is parallel to sigma two, between sigma one and sigma three. So this will have a normal stress and a shear stress. Thank you. So this will have also normal stress, shear stress. This will also have normal stress, shear stress. Now out of all these planes, how do you solve planes? Plane which will be experiencing maximum shear stress, they are the rock will break. Understand this. Part. Up to this. Huh? So my question is: Suppose a plane is cutting all the three axes. A plane is cutting only two axes. A plane is cutting only one axis. So which plane will experience maximum shear stress? Are you able to understand me, please? Out of all three categories, how many? One bar, one plane, or all two cut? One bar, two cut? One bar, one cut? Out of all these categories. Which plane will experience maximum shear stress? That is the point, na? Then rock will break along their texture. I'm understand now, sir. Now, so case is better again. Case is better again. First, it is clear, sir. To this point, no, no doubt, na? First is where a plane 
is first category, that category, and let us see that, that category is parallel to two axis, parallel to two axis. Eight to cut. But this is the plane. This is the plane. This is the category. This plane. Can you tell me? This plane will not experience any stress in this year's stress. Sorry, any year's stress. ये प्लेन में कोई सीर स्ट्रेस नहीं है तो इसमें कभी रात नहीं तुम्हें जीरो स्ट्रेस जीरो स्ट्रेस ही एक दिन सो व्हाट डज इट से यू नो ऐसे होगा ना तो फिर यू आर हैविंग ए प्लेन लाइक दिस इसमें कोई सीर स्ट्रेस स्ट्रेस नहीं तो इसमें कभी ब्रेक नहीं करेगा आप कितना भी तोड़ो कोई पत्थर वर्टिकल क्रैक में अंडरस्टैंड ना फर्स्ट रूल लाओ सेकेंड वन वेन ए प्लेन वेन ए प्लेन इज कॉटिंग टू एक्सिस टू एक्सिस अंडरस्टैंड ना व्हाट इज दिस इयर स्ट्रेस I'll give you formula. ठीक है? Suppose this is the plane. Remember this angle suppose theta. Theta is the angle between plane and sigma. तो याद रखो। अब प्राम से क्या किताब पढ़ोगे तो what he says you know theta is the angle between <coughs> the pool of the plane, pool of the plane, and sigma. ये अलग डिफरेंस है. But let us take first. But ये दोनों कन्वेंशन हैं. इसलिए I am keeping you open. Here. Some people says theta is the angle between plane and sigma one. Ram sir has taken you to draw a pole to this plane. You know, ऐसा. This angle is that means Ramsey or is this gentleman the 90 degree? But for some formula is there a little different, na? In Ramsey book you will get one formula with a plus sign, but in other book you will get a minus sign because of this variation only. Otherwise, much difference. But understand, na? So let us assume because for convenience, you know, these formulas are different. So let us assume that theta is the angle between plane and this. Understand now? So if this is the case, so what he says, you know, the normal stress is given by sigma 1 plus sigma 3 by 2 minus sigma 1 plus sigma 3 sigma 3 by 2 equal to cos 3. And shear stress is given by sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 into sin. What the lecture of? I have asked some questions. This is, the plane is cutting sigma 1 and sigma 3, na? Understand? Now, I will remove it, yeah? And there is a doubt, if you have some doubt, you just ask me, yeah? Plane 